Hello, my name is Tristan from Pool Supply Unlimited. You've probably spoken to me before earlier about pool chemicals and other things such as Intellifo pumps maybe. But today we're going to be talking about chemistry. Chemistry is important for your pool because it eliminates organisms that you don't want swimming around in your pool with your kids swimming in there. You don't want algae and things like that. It really messes up the filter and you're going to get high pressures and you want to get rid of all that. So basically we uh, use chemicals to get rid of all that stuff, right? So basically the most important chemical that we use here is going to be the chlorine. And we have a couple different sizes of chlorine, jumbo tabs, small tabs, wrapped, unwrapped, all kinds of different things. But uh, the main purpose of chlorine is to sanitize the pool and to get rid of all organisms. Um, there's a couple different categories that chlorine can fall into. Total chlorine is going to be your, uh, the entire chlorine that you have in your pool. Uh, now this doesn't necessarily mean that the chlorine is going to be sanitizing because there's going to be chlorine that's attached to different compounds and different chemicals that's not available for sanitation. So that's why we have free chlorine. So some test kits only offer total chlorine uh, content in your pool, but you need to find something or take it to a, a pool specialist that can test your free, uh, your free chlorine that's available for sanitation. What pH is, is a measurement of acidity and alkalinity. Basically, the hardness and the acidity of your water. Um, the more or less uh, acidity and al alkalinic your water is, the more irritant it is going to be on your skin. That's why you get the red, itchy eyes and things like that. Use Clear Eyes, Visine, whichever brand you prefer. That's not a problem. Um, basically, you want your acidity, acidity to be between uh, 7.4 and 7.6. That will be perfect for your skin, perfect for your eyes. It's still going to be a little bit irritant because there's chemicals in there. However, it's not going to be as irritant if you had, for example, of a, a acidity pH level of 8.0 or 8.1 or something like that. So you want to measure that. Make sure you're, you're over in, in, within those parameters. And you can use a, a pH up or a pH down to control your pH level. The next thing I want to talk about is total alkalinity. What total alkalinity is, basically the buffer of the pH changes in your water. Now you don't want this uh, pH, uh, pH change to be too low or too high because as we talked about earlier, you get that irritant skin, the red eyes and things like that. Uh, again, we offer the pH up, pH down to control their total alkalinity. One of the problems of chlorine is that it dissipates in heat. It's uh, very evaporative and mixed with water. Similar to gasoline, it evaporates very easily. So what we use is a cyanuric acid or water conditioner to help, help the chlorine be more stable and not evaporate as fast. An ideal cyanuric lef level or CYA level would be about between 60 and 80 and that'll keep the uh, prevent the chlorine from evaporating uh, fast. Another important concept that we need to speak about is shock in your pool. Now basically what shock is is a high concentrate of chlorine and it helps sanitize your pool uh, quickly and very effectively. Uh, shock is pretty much pretty much going to be based of sodium hypochlorite or some type of uh, calcium hypochlorite and it's very powerful chlorine basically what it comes down to. It dissipates very fast and it shocks or cleans and sanitizes your pool immediately effective within about 30 minutes which is pretty cool depending on the size of your pool. One of the next products I want to talk about is Cell Protect by Natural Chemistry. This is a very important product to prolong the life of your salt generating cell and basically you just add it once a month and what it does is prevents buildup of calcium deposits on the electrodes which keeps it from pr uh, producing electrolysis and separating the molecules for sanitation. Do you have algae problems? Most people do. The reason why you have algae problems is because of phosphates. Algae feeds off of phosphates. In order to eliminate algae you need to shock your pool using chlorine and shock a lot or other types of shocks. However, algae can come back because they're a living organism and if you have phosphates in your pool you need to get rid of them. You can use a product called Phosfree by Natural Chemistry and this uh, particular one also comes with Pool Perfect which helps balances the chemistry in your pool. Basically by eliminating the phosphates in your pool you'll uh, eliminate the food source of the algae that they require to survive for, for sustainability. That way so first things you got to do is uh, kill all the algae using shock, chlorine, things like that, and then eliminate the food source by using phosphory. My name is Tristan, thank you for watching and you've just learned about chemistry.